Okay, so it finally looks like we have this war under control as long as Morocco doesn't send anything over uh, to bring in reinforcements. I don't think that they will. Uh, what do we learn? Don't declare war when you have uh, a very crucial military technology that the, that the enemy does have. So yeah, because I called in my friends, uh, that has pretty much saved me, and I'm hoping we'll be able to have a peace deal by the end of this war, uh, but we'll see. Again, still just just worried about Morocco. I think that you know they could send over quite a bit of troops. I don't think the Mam I don't think a lot of those numbers are from the Mamluk side. So that that's my only worry at the moment. But we'll see. Um, we're gonna go after a few sieges, a few forts. Uh, once we capture these two forts, will be a lot. Will be much better. Um, I think that. Well, I don't even know where the final regiments are at. The final Mamluk regiments, that is, are at. Here comes Oman for some extra help for some of these sieges. But for now, we just have to wait. Because I can't cross the wasteland. And I there actually might be a way for me to maybe get military access through Hejaz. But that would mean that they could also get that. And then I'd have to go around the Persian uh, peninsula here. The uh, kind of Persian Gulf peninsula. Because the Shamar would for sure not give me military. Actually, maybe they could. Maybe they could. Let's see, diplomatic relations, I'm at three or four. There's no way. Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't do that. Okay, I'm just going to sit this out and wait. Ah, they're coming after us, so that's that's even better. Let's see where they're going to go, though. Come on, Oman. Come help us out. You're going to go here in the drylands. So I'm hoping that Oman will come and help. Come on, Oman. I need your help here. <laughs> we, like, immediately lose so much morale. But it's not as though we're losing morale. It's just that, uh, you know, ours doesn't even compare to the Mamluk morale. When are you going to get there? I was going to say the AI. I could totally see the AI. Just see, like, you know what? I'm not going to go that way. And let's make sure that we win it now. Let's get some good rolls. They had no offensive penalty. Jeez. And boom, they're down to 6,000. There's no way they have very much manpower left. I'm hoping not. There's just, there, there's no way, right? Total, where are the Mamluks at? Mamluks are down to, I don't even, where are they at? I'm hoping this is like them, like super low on the list. Uh, Mamluks, 6,000, 6,000 manpower. Okay, so they'll probably use that that last 6,000 right now uh, if they have any money, which I'm sure they do. So they'll probably come back, me, come back at me with like a 12 stack, I think, after reinforcing whatever they already have. I mean, who knows? They could do a, a multitude of things. That's usually what the AI decides to do, though. Level 2 fort, level 2 fort. I'm guessing this is where the siege general is. Yes. Yes, it is. Luckily, I brought my two-star. Oh, so you're going to attack us right now. That didn't take very long. Wait a second. You better attack us and not attack... Not try to move up through my territory. You probably would, are going to try to break this siege, I think, actually. So you're going to chill there? Is that what you're going to do? Ooh, in the mountains. That is why that's very smart terrain to grab. So they are back at 12,000. Come on, Oman. Oh, well, he can't go after them. That's right. Oh, gosh. And now they're going to reinforce. Okay, so we're going to need to have an epic battle right here in the mountains. It looks like. Very smart of the AI. The problem is that the Ethiopians are already sieging their capital. I'll wait until Oman engages them first before I engage myself. I will just sit here, even if I finish these, these sieges, uh, before I engage. Ooh. Okay, here they come. You're going to Damascus? I guess... No, no, wait, wait. Oh, you have to go around. That's right. Oh, crap. You're going to take a while to get there. Oh, I guess you didn't have to go around. Give me a little bit more boost the morale. There goes Oman. Come on, Oman. Send those one stacks in. Let's get some good... Let's get some good rolls. We have not been getting very good rolls. But I think we got it. Let's gank some piety. Bam. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're sending the seven stack way down... Okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. Let's just finish. There we go. Perfect. So we can now go inside the mountains here. Bam. All right. So I'll let Oman do go wherever they want to go. I guess I'm going to go towards Sedan. Sedan. I'll let Oman lead the lead the charge if they want. I'm going to go this way. Bam. And uh, actually, bam, bam, bam. Just like this. I guess we'll detach and continue to go down forward. Is there any sort of mountains or anything? There's mountains. So I'm going to put the big stack there with the mountains. So that means the Ethiopia's going to get... Oh, are they giving all of these sieges to me? Good, they are. Oh, that's great. They still have a 10 stack, though, and they could probably push back the Ethiopians. I'd like to run over there and reinforce them 
It would be nice of me if I did that, but I don't know if I am that nice. I probably should because they're giving it to me. I'm at 13% right now. What have I occupied? Oh, okay. So yeah, the one stacks will just go around to finishing everything else. Oman's going that way. Perfect. So they can do it for me. Bam. There goes the fall of Cairo. And that is it. Ethiopia's engaging. Jeez, Ethiopia can fight better than I can. That's when you know you have a problem. That is when you know you have a big problem. Bam, we're switching this to six. And I'm going to reinforcement speed or land maintenance modifier. Let's go ahead and go reinforcement speed since I've still have a lot of uh, manpower left. Okay, and then I'm going to detach and we're going to go to the Suez now. So did you win that battle? Yes, you did. So the Mamluks have almost been completely destroyed. I'd love to completely destroy their armies, though. Can't really destroy their navies, obviously. No one has a navy here. Oman does, but there it's the in, in the Indian Ocean side of things, not in the Mediterranean. And where are you running? I'm guessing you're going to run to, to crush them, I'm hoping. What else have we occupied? So, yeah, I mean, I might as well get everything. What's the war exhaustion at, though? Four? Holy crap. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to pay for harsh treatment here. Dang. All right, we have to reduce this, too. It's only diplomatic power, so that's not bad. Persian separatists, I don't think, will rise. Jeez. Okay, so that's better. I think I think that was worth it, though, uh, paying for that, because, you know, we have the Mamluks in a really, really vulnerable position, so we might as well get as much war score as we can from this. Increased autonomy, fantastic. So, I, I, you know, I might as well try to get as much as I can without obviously going over towards the Moroccan region. Uh, and, the, and the Mamluks are about to lose their entire military at some point here. And I have, you know, two AIs working with me, so that's good. Let's move wherever you need us at. I think we should be able to take on a very, very low morale. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we do. And we're going to lose some ducats. Probably have to take out a loan. Fantastic. But that's okay. I haven't taken out a loan yet. And you're going to go this way. So Ethiopia will be able to do the final blow. Geez, such huge loans. I don't understand that part. Why are they taking huge loans? Don't like these loans. Is, does, I wonder if it has to do it with inflation. Usually, you know, even at the end of the game, I'm only taking out loans that are like 200 ducats or something like that. I have no idea. Friesland, that's an interesting uh, flag. I just noticed how interesting of a flag that is. And we'll keep everyone back home. Do we have everything? Ethiopia is going after the final siege, the final fort, I should say. They'll probably be doing the final siege as well. Uh, I'm guessing Oman is giving me occupation because since I control all this stuff. They have point one. You guys can't take down a point one stack. And I should probably just start to send everyone back up north, honestly. Because it's over. Uh, whoa. Oh, crap. Okay, so who is this? Uh, is this a great power here? I will accept... And I'm hoping that, well, let's see here. Let me make sure that I put somebody else there so Ethiopia can run back home. So you can go deal with him. Because I really don't want to. Uh, I don't know how much more war score we're going to get from finishing this siege. I guess we don't absolutely have to. I, 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 we don't need to. Provence, France declared war in Provence. Let's go this way. Let's go ahead and run back out of here. Oman's going back home, so that's good. Bam, some extra points. We actually really needed that. I'll go this way. And we'll finish this siege. Yeah, 7%. It's fine. Okay, so where are you going to go? I hope they don't have military access through Hejaz. They might. Ooh, what boats were destroyed? Whoa, they've got a lot of boats. Oh, crap. I didn't even think about that part. Um, now, wait a second. I think if I do this again, that would be... I'm pretty sure I can't possibly lose... I can't lose more loyalty. I cannot. Um, I'm going to have to go up here. We're going to have to fight some Separatists. Well, hopefully, as Oman is going back, they'll help me fight those. You know, hopefully. Maybe. I'll watch if they do. <laughs> Please. Let's get, let's get the two-star general to start doing some stuff. Did they? Uh, come on, man. You're passing right by him. Why not? 
You're passing like right by them. Okay, we're gonna piece out the we we'll piece out the Mamluks and figure out what we're gonna do about those rebels. Uh, okay, so let's first just start off by suggesting demands. What are you down to? Wow, are you kidding me? Really? Are you serious? That that's it? No. Mm mm. Mm mm. I've got 58 war score with you. You best believe I'm gonna take some stuff. Uh, what if I take like six provinces? It's only 40 overextension. Really, no aggressive expansion with anybody. Uh, still keeping quite a bit of administrative power on my side. I mean, what if I take one more? I could probably take one more and everything would be fine. What about one? Uh, that's where it's starting to cut a little bit more, but I, I think I'll do it. Let's see. If I ask for a bunch of money, get some of my money back. Fazan. You'll definitely won't release Fazan. Oh, is Fazan just one? Uh, that's fine. You can, you can keep a hold of that one province. You certainly need to annul this stuff. I'll I'll take less provinces so you annul so I'd love to go to war with Jazz. I've been wanting to go to war with the Jazz forever. Hmm. How much do I have to give up? Ah okay, you can you could you know Morocco's not a big deal. You can keep the Moroccan alliance. But I want this. And what about this? No? I can't take both? I guess I'm just gonna have to live with this. Humiliate, no. War operations, can't get war operations either. I think that's overall the best deal, because I'll be able to destroy Hejaz now, and uh, and that's good. Oh, my font got a lot bigger too. Oman did not help us, wow. And we control some wasteland, so that's nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and raise all this stuff down. Do I want to keep this castle? I don't think so. Actually, yeah, I should keep the Damascus castle. Maybe delete this one, but uh, I'm not going to make a decision yet. Let's Let's get a whole bunch of extra points. Again, I don't really need it for my Horde Unity anymore. It's more just to do it for the uh, the administrative diplomatic. Actually, it's mainly a lot of administrative points to help me core this stuff. Perfect. Okay. That was everything, right? Yeah. Okay, we also have to repay a loan. Should I, should I wait or repay it now? Uh, I don't even have the money to repay it now. Jeez, okay. Alright, let's get rid of that and let's just start to core this all over the place. Uh, we'll probably even begin to send some missionaries around. And we're just going to slowly grind away here. You know, these two together will probably be enough. Oh, they just announced me their rival, didn't they? They did. Uh, let's just go like this. Yeah, you'll reach it about the same time. And, of course, they're going to demand territory from me. Again, I'm just going to give it my new stuff because it already has, you know, quite a bit of autonomy. Okay, so you can have two. We need to go down south to deal with this guy. You stay right there. Hold on. Watch that seven stack. Bring in the reinforcements. Okay, so the rebels are pretty easy to fight. Oh, oops. I didn't realize he was going to attack us like that, but I guess that's okay. And boom. All right, so let's unoccupy this. And there we go. All right, so we won our battle with the Mamluks. Pretty good show, I think. Uh, we can now go after Hejaz which is what I really want to do. Um, would I ever be able to move through the wasteland? I don't think so. It's just going to color it uh, my own color, which I like. Kilauea. Uh, Kilauea, I guess. It's Kilauea. Um, I think Kilauea is... Isn't that the island? Hawaiian island? So, yeah, we're going to want to go after Hejaz for sure. We are involved in a war, which means that I am going to get more war exhaustion. Luckily, I ticked that down for the most part. Hopefully, Ethiopia can deal with these guys. Had no idea they're gonna have as many boats as they do. Uh, I guess I'll probably chill for now. I hope it Jazz doesn't get any more military alliances though. That's the only issue that I'm, I'm worried about. And bam, all right, so we have full control over our empire once again. Losing a buttload of money though. Why? Why we gotta be losing all this money? What exactly, oh, you know what? It's probably our forts, first of all, we could fix that. We've got six forts, which is probably a, a pretty big deal. I think I will delete, or I'll, I'll, I'll destroy this one. Destroy, no, that's a marketplace. Okay, this is a level 2 for it. What, what is this one? This is level 2 also, but it's right on the border, so that's why I want it. Uh, we don't need 2 right there. If the Mamluks can get past this fort, then that's going to be bad. But this is a very good fort to have. That'll be like the, the most important fort that we keep whenever we do future wars with the Mamluks. I could also go to war with Persia. I'll probably do that. I'll probably go to war with Persia just to see if I... Uh, 
you know, to destroy them. Obviously, I'll destroy them. I might go to war with Hejaz first. It really depends on what alliances they get up. Oh, the Shamar are now by themselves, too. Oh, crap. So I might as well leave Persia alone because Persia is, is stuck in our territory. They might end up getting a, an alliance at some point, but I'm not really worried about them. I'm worried more about the Shamar because I need to connect my empire. Hate having to go through this territory. I'm kind of reliant on the Omanian um, alliance, especially now that my, my whole fleet has been destroyed. Uh, exiled armies. Oh, that's where the other ones are at. That's what I was wondering. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, I do want to eventually repay that loan at some point soon. How are we doing here? Syrian separatists. Okay, so we're also going to want to increase autonomy in Sidon. Yeah, that, that's actually the, the place that's causing me the most issues. But I don't, need, I don't think that's going to be enough. I, don't, I think it's still going to be pretty high, 13.3. Uh, we'll have to, because I think autonomy has automatically increased in a, in a few places. Damascus. Uh, where did Damascus go? I just saw it somewhere. Damascus. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. So I should just increase it everywhere here. At least the ones that aren't already given to... Well, some of them have been given to a tribe and I can... Right? Yeah, I can still increase autonomy even if it's been given to a tribe. Let's increase autonomy here. We're good all around now, right? I mean, I can keep one at 3.2. I don't mind keeping, like, one at 3.2. I should look at the ones that are, like, the most developed and not increase autonomy in the, the most developed of provinces, but that's, it's fine. 3.1, yeah, we'll keep you at 3.1. That's fine. Sunni zealots might pop up. Armenian separatists are, are too low on the list. I should probably bring you down south to prepare for a... We need to go to war with Shamar. Oh, I, I've got a truce with them. That's, that's, I forgot about that part. 1609, I could wait two years, or I could go to war with the Jazz... Uh, I could easily get military access and go to war with Hejaz. I don't think Hejaz has got much power here. There's no way they, they, they can. I don't think it's... I don't think it's like likely that they have too much strength. I'm surprised that the Shamar even have six regiments up, actually. Uh, did Ethiopia call in Andol Andolidia? Alo I'm sorry, Alodia. They did. Okay, good. So Kilauea is a lot stronger than... Oh, Kilauea got involved, too. Oh, that's explaining why they have this dominant navy. It's not these guys. It's not this small tribe. So we need to keep that in mind. They might be able to control the ocean. They will drop troops off more than likely, unless we get Oman involved. Uh, Oman, I know, has some ships, and I'm guessing they've got some heavy ships. Yeah, they do. Wow, good for Oman. Pretty small nation, but they've got some heavy ships, a pretty powerful fleet, too. Yeah, we're not going to want to get involved in a war with these guys. Also, I should be waiting until we get Military Technology 15. Oman's at 16. I'm sorry, Shamar is at Military Technology 16. So, that's bad. Yeah, that's really bad. Uh, right now, my king is a 251. He's 41 years old. My heir is of age. He's a 613. Much, much better. Love having a 613 because I don't need the diplomatic power as much. But uh, we'll probably be going to war very soon. Um, with some of the minor nations just to clean up my borders a little bit, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.